All right, first you're gonna take off all of your six lug nuts to get to your brake caliper. All right, next to get to your brake pads, you have to take your caliper off. Caliper's held on by two 19 millimeter bolts, this one here, and then down here, this one down here. I just use a large ratchet with a 19 millimeter impact. All right, so once you have the 19 millimeter bolts out, caliper is loose. So you should just be able to shake it back and forth and take that off. Just be careful because your brake line's attached. On this kind of car, you can set it right here and it's safe. First thing I like to do is pull my slide pins out and take a look at those. And this one's pretty clean, but we'll wipe all that dirt off and we'll re-grease the slide pins. So that's one. You pull out the second one. Same thing, inspect your slide boots which are gonna be right here, that rubber boot and that rubber boot. If they look good, you can keep the same slide boots. You don't need to replace those. All right, so this is a new side uh, slide pin, all greased up with new grease. This is the grease that you can use. You can get it at any AutoZone or auto parts store, but make sure you have a very good coating of new fresh grease and you're gonna slide that back into your slide pin hole make sure that the boot grips around the bolt appropriately you'll actually snap into place and then just make sure it has nice movement and can move back and forth do that for both of them and that way you will prevent this from seizing up and uneven wear on your brakes all right once you've done both of those you're going to take your old pads out which will just pop out of the slides once you take your brake pads out you can take a look at them as you can tell these definitely need to be replaced and this one is okay but needs replaced as well so we'll put the new ones in and we'll also put the new hardware in so let's take these out these just literally will pull up and push down sometimes you can use a screwdriver if you don't want to hurt your hands all right so you're gonna put these new hardware brackets in they're just gonna line up make sure that it's about even on both sides and then these ones are made to just press fit down in and snap on so you'll hear them click on, and then once they've clicked on, you know that it's in the right place. This one doesn't want to click on in the back, so just use the camera to tap it down. There it goes. Of course, whenever I'm trying to video or something, it doesn't want to. There it goes. There, now it's tapped down all the way. And then the top one will be the same thing. Make sure it's appropriately lined up. We'll just go ahead and snap that on. Okay. And once that's on, you'll know it's on there because it snaps in. You can always grease these just a little bit. Some people do, some people don't, but can sometimes helps with the noise. So I just put a little bit of grease right here where your brake pad's gonna fit. Same thing here. And then on the back side. All right, here's your new brake pads. You know the back one or the inside one by the fact that it has that squealer right there. So you're gonna make sure that you put that in the right spot. So you're gonna fit that down in the grooves. Slide that in, same with the top part. And then you'll know it's in place whenever it sits tight against the rotor. Front part doesn't have a squealer on it. Same thing, you're gonna fit that in the groove, fit that in the groove snap it into place you know it's going to be tight because it's tight and flush the rotor good so the next tool is going to just be a caliper um, compressor you can buy these or rent one from autozone even um, i got mine off amazon for like 30 bucks it has all the different sizes of the caliper flathead pieces and then it just magnets on here and then this piece will sit in your bracket right here and it allows you to compress this caliper cleanly instead of trying to do it with a pair of C-clamps like some people do, which usually doesn't work out well and is not recommended. As you can see, this just turns evenly and compresses it cleanly and evenly. And I always say compress it all the way down because you know that your new brake pads are gonna be thick. And we'll do the same thing on the other side and get this one compressed all the way in. Then we'll put this over top of our new pads. All right. All right, once these are both fully compressed, it should slide right back over top of your brand new brake pads. And you're just gonna have to line up your slides so that those bolt holes line up. And then same thing on the bottom, bolt hole and bottom slide. 
And once they're in place, you're gonna put your 19 millimeter caliper bracket bolts back in to hold the caliper in place. And we'll tighten those back down with a wrench. You don't need to go completely tight because you'll strip them, but they do need to be tight enough to hold your caliper and brace in place while you're braking hard. So I just like a nice iron hand tight. And then we'll do the bottom one real quick. Now I know that they're tight and the caliper's back in place. What we can do now is start the car. After we put the tire back on, put the tire back on, you're gonna start the car and press your brake pedal multiple times to get this back tight, or whenever you go to first brake, you won't have brakes backing out of the driveway, which is not a fun time.